So good afternoon, guys. Welcome again to Sapiens Side Track Fortaleza 2022. And today we have a, a colleague, a SAP consultant at FIICO. It's uh, Eduardo Almeida. It's the first time that she that uh, he um, he made uh, some lecture here in uh, in SAP Inside Track. Welcome and uh, thank you very much to uh, accept our invitation to present your uh, your lecture. Uh, I, I, it, I, I think Eduardo, uh, Eduardo, it's an electronic engineering. What are you doing <laughs> here in SAP? And uh, he works with the FIICO uh, in Sao Paulo. I will pass the, to talk uh, a bit and present in detail uh, his CV. And after that, uh, he uh, will make his, the, his lecture. And um, if we have some question in the chat, he will answer after the, the, the lecture. So let's go with you. Thank you, Manuel. Let me put here. Uh, hello, everyone. Everyone, my name is Eduardo Almeida. Uh, I am very grateful to be able to be here talking to you. I feel really honored to to be able to share a little in, in this uh, exemplary and so well organized event. Uh, as well said by Manuel, I am an FICO consultant, uh, despite that I have a degree in electrical engineering. Uh, I am now in this world, in this world and, and has been a worthwhile challenge. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, guys, my presentation will fo focus on demonstrating how to set up a uh, and work with a uh, fiscal year variant that is different from the, the calendar year and, and what implications it has on the on ledger's configuration. Uh, and in addition to, to going to press, I want to bring uh, some basic concepts and, and also bring some, some attention points at the end to, to be taken into consideration to, throughout our project. Uh, so let's go. Uh, here, uh, I would like to bring a summary, uh, a concrete example that we will base this presentation. And basically, we'll be talking about uh, uh, about a setting of two ledgers, uh, a, a leading ledger, in, and we will follow the nomenclature, the standard nomenclature here. It's the the zero L and a secondary ledger and uh, name it 2L and about two fiscal year variants that will guide the posting and uh, the posting period designations on on these ledgers and the scenario um, on which we base our presentation is that our, our leading ledger uh, has uh, 12 periods and runs from from april to march and this custom fiscal year will, will guide the main ledger and with this, then we have the first period as April and the second as May and so on. Okay, and we will have also the ledger 2L following the, the, the variant of fiscal year and K4 that, uh, that is guided by the, the calendar year. And to illustrate uh, the end result that we will have, I bring here a screenshot of a posting in FP50. And you can see here in, on the left that this, this accounting document was posted in October. And for the ledger 0L, the, the period designated was the period set. While on the right, we have the, the, the period for ledger 2L as period 10, as we are in October. And this shows that the, the ledger follows the calendar year. So first, uh, the first step to set uh, this this configuration is the to set the fiscal year variant. And before we go into the system, I want I want to bring some some main concepts here. Basically, uh, and 
Usually, the uh, fiscal year has 12 periods long, 12 months long, and, and it basically represents the time interval that the company produces financial statement and, and takes inventory. The, the variation on how many, how many months the, the fiscal year has or, or when it ends or begins depends on some particular definitions of the company, such as operating cycle, uh, investor demand, or, or your main product complies with some external, external factors like, like seasons. Um, so, uh, so in, to resume, a fiscal year does not necessarily has to follow the, the calendar year. It, uh, in, in some circumstances, have more or less than 12 periods. And in SAP, you can follow this approach. Um, the, the, the fiscal year then is subdivided up to 16 periods. And this, these periods are subdivided in posting periods and the special periods for, for closing purposes. Uh, and the first thing to configure a uh, fiscal year variant, uh, you have to make some definitions, such as uh, how many posting periods a uh, fiscal year has, how many special periods you, you need, and how the system should determine the posting periods when you are making a posting. So let, let's go into the system. And here in, in, in the customization guide, uh, we will talk about a, an activity that is under financial accounting, global settings, ledgers, le uh, fiscal year and posting periods, and maintain fiscal year variant. Or you can do this activity uh, directly by the transaction code OP29. So entering this activity, uh, you can see in, in this screen that we, we have some options to, to set our fiscal year variant. This first column is called calendar year, and you can see that it is flagged on for the ledger K4, and it means that the system to, to this fiscal year variant will, will assign based on the calendar year. So uh, with, this, with this flag, no further settings are needed, and the system will follow the calendar year. And on the other, the, this next column, we have uh, the here we indicate that your fiscal year variant is your dependent. That is, uh, you you must indicate based on the calendar year how you segregate your periods within a fiscal year. Uh, as as I said in the beginning, we are talking about a different uh, fiscal year variant K six, and that is flagged with this year dependent. And this fiscal year variant has uh, 12 posting periods and four special periods. Uh, I want to, to, to call your attention to, to the impossibility of flagging this, of marking these two columns that's a contradictory setting to make and the system blocks this action. So let's go uh, see how to configure these this periods of this fiscal year uh, K6. In this screen, uh, it is where you tell the, the system what each period of your fiscal year variant means. Uh, note that you must indicate which month of the calendar you are talking about and which day it ends. And then you, you indicate your, the period and in this, this, this last column, you, since we are shifting our, our variant by three periods, we have also to indicate here the, to the first month uh, this year shift by indicating by minus one. So uh, this basically means that uh, in January 2023, we will still be in, in the year 2022, in the fiscal year 2022, and in period 10, instead of period 1 and the year 2023. The next step is to name our, our periods in our variant. 
And here in this next, next step is a pretty intuitive entry to make. We just have to indicate the, the language, the period, and a short task and a long, long text here. Now that we configured our fiscal year variant, let's talk about how to set our ledgers. Uh, as we did there, uh, I will go over here some basic concepts uh, before we go to the system. Basically, a ledger is a book that contains accounting data from accounting documents for, for all business transactions. And in S4 HANA, there are two types of ledgers, the, the standard ledger and the extension ledger. First, the, the standard ledger contains the entire set of journal entries for all business transactions. And the extension ledger, on, on the other hand, is mandatorily assigned to a standard ledger, and it will mirror all its movements. And another thing here is that we have also the definition of uh, the leading ledger that the site provides by, by standard, the ledger 0L. And here you, you just have one of this kind. And in short, the leading ledger started the, the primary and the default accounting principle for, for your financial reports and uh, assign it itself um, differently from the non-leading ledgers. It is assigned to all companies automatically. And let me explain myself better here with some examples on how this mechanism of uh, assigning ledgers works. Uh, for example, what if you don't indicate which ledger you are making a posting? And uh, without indicating the ledger, the system assigns the document to all ledgers that, that uh, is in the system. And, but if you indicate explicitly the ledger zero L, the system will assign the, the documents to ledger zero L and will expand it to ledgers zero C and zero E as they are extended. And, Another, another possibility here is to, to explicitly make a posting in ledger 2L and now the system will assign this accounting document only to ledger 2C, 2L. And as according to, to our scheme, it has no extension ledgers. The, the last example here is to, to simulate a posting and directing on an extension ledger let's assume zero C. And with this, the system will assign only in the ledger zero C. And this mechanism is interesting because it allows you to make a specific reclassifications for, for the time of financial reporting that you, that you want to generate with this ledger. One other thing that I, I want to talk before we go into the system is that uh, to bring to our illustration on, on, on the illustration of uh, how this document assignment scheme works, um, we have in addition of the ledger's definitions, we have also the dependence of the, the assignments to the company and assignments to the variant of fiscal year. Uh, I draw your attention here to the possibility of assigning more than one fiscal year to any ledgers in any given company, since there is no, no conflict with the period assignment for the controlling area and for the company code. So the periods in, in the, the controlling area have to be equalized with these assignments that we are making here. Going back to the system, uh, again in SPRO path, uh, under financial accounting, global settings, ledgers, and ledger, we'll be talking about this first activity, defining settings for ledgers and currency types. And basically, uh, it's here that you define the corresponding ledger settings 
and assign accounting principles for ledgers and company codes. And it's here as well that you, that you edit the currency types and currency conversions to the settings that you use in accounting. Let's go in there. Here at this stage, you can see that the, the leading ledger is the 0, zero L. And it, you can notice that I make, I put here this, this screenshot that the system blocks if you try to assign more than one leading ledger. And we are dealing with two ledgers here that are configured as a standard, standard ledgers, as we talked about. And here, let's see the configuration on, on how to set the company code in, in Ledger. In this step, uh, you can see for the each combination of fiscal year of company code and Ledger, you can assign a fiscal year variant. And uh, in here as well is where you assign the accounting principle that's more on the right. And we will see more detail in the next in the next uh, slide. But uh, uh, here, prepare that um, that for each combination of the relevant company, we assign it the fiscal year variant K six that has our deferred period. Uh, let's display this, this detailed screen by double-clicking one of the rows, for example, 1001. And in here, you can see as well the, the fiscal year variant, K6, and the accounting principle, uh, that here is prep. Talking about accounting principle, there is a step here specifically for that, and it is a relevant part of the configuration because in normal posting, we can post to a specific ledger by entering a ledger group. But, uh, but if you use um, another, another way like BEPS to post, for example, an ACC document post, the system does not, does not use the ledger, the ledger group, but it uses the accounting principle here indicated. And uh, so there is important that is correctly, corrected, correctly uh, indicated here. And here I show you guys that for the ledger 2L, they must follow the calendar year. I have assigned uh, the fiscal year variant K4 that will represent the calendar year here. And uh, now uh, at this point, the system has already been set it up, but uh, I, I have to go through here uh, some other definition that is ledger group. Uh, I will talk about some concepts and settings because this can influence how the posting are performed in the system. And the ledger group is nothing more than a group of ledgers for the purpose of performing accounting functions and process. Uh, with the group as a whole. So, uh, as in the example that we did posting from FP50L, uh, to identify to which ledger that the document was stored, we, what we assigned it there was not the ledger itself, was the ledger group. So, entering in this activity, the, the first thing that you can notice is that uh, the ledger group uh, in some cases, have the ledger name from itself, because in, in this way, uh, this happens because when you are creating a new ledger, the system already automatically creates a ledger group containing the ledger itself. And so with this, you can actually, when in an application, don't don't possibility to to insert the ledger itself. Uh, you can insert the ledger group uh, instead that represents only one ledger and then make it your single posting. Let's go here to see how it is done in, in this group LX. Here we can see that in addition to listing which ledger are part of the group, 
we have to list which of them is the representative ledger. This representative ledger is used for the system to determine the posting period and to check if the assigned period is open. This way, if it, the, the period on the representative ledger is open, the system will post to all ledgers in the group, even if any of them have the period possibly closed. Uh, a point of attention uh, that uh, I bring here to this representative ledger is that this indication must must be this ledger in, uh, indicated as the representative must be equalized with the posting period assigned on the company because the system validates that that this is correct during the posting. This means. And this actually means that you may not always be able to use the same ledger group for all company codes, since one of the companies uh, should ha may have the uh, different period, uh, uh, may have a different period than the the representative ledger. Um, although. Um, Although this, this necessary scheme, we have this when we have the situation that in a group all the indicated ledgers have a different period than the company code. Uh, in this case, we can des designate uh, any one of them as being a representative. And another point is that um, another, is there another difference in that you have for the leading ledger? That is when the leading ledger is assigned to a group, to a group ledger, the leading ledger has to be necessarily the representative one. Um, here, I want to bring back the, the example that we had in the beginning, because in here you already have the system making this different period. And following these steps, so you, you will get uh, two ledgers that can store the same account in document, but to two periods different. In this case, we had the, the ledger 0L that followed the, the fiscal year variant K6, that is the February by three months. And here, making a posting in October, the system had assigned the periods as seven. In the same time, we have the uh, uh, another ledger, another standard ledger that stores the, the period for the accounting document as in the calendar year. Uh, a final point that I want to bring here is for, for some points of attention that you, you, you may consider it in, throughout your implementation. The first one is the leap years. When you have uh, uh, the leap years, you must go back to the period setting and correctly indicate the, late, the day lag that you have in February. And here, another point is the validity date of some cost objects. Um, if you need to carry to the system some historical data, the fiscal year variant must be also set back in, in this date because um, the, the fiscal year variant is assigned to the account, the, the area of accounting, costing account. So this cost object depends on that. And for example, has already been necessary to carry historical data of employees. And this is why I had, had the data from 1950. So I had to go back there in this setting and go back to the date on the fiscal year variant as well. Uh, another point is the challenge zone migration, because uh, as you have, we have ledgers that lead differently during the year, you must also carry the difference that you have between the main ledger and the different ledger, because uh, it has been carried during your fiscal year different uh, and transactions and you must pay attention here on, on migration and the balance 
because you have to post this difference that you have between the ledgers explicitly to this different ledger that carries a different period from the, the main one. The last point is that in the asset accounting in S4 HANA, it has been inserted the, the accounting principle between the valuation area and the ledger definitions in order to segregate a posting. So here too is, is one of the importance of defining the accounting principle correctly. And the result of this is that basically you have to create parallel areas to store the information of different ledger groups that carry different uh, accounting principles. And here uh, I finalize with showing some reference that I use it on some concepts in these presentations. And I thank you all, you all for this, this for your attention. And, and I want to say that I am really honored to be here in this, uh, this event that is so well organized. And, and thank you all. Thank you very much. Great, great, uh, great lecture. I suppose the, the first one that uh, put claps, it was Carlo Otto. I suppose it's your friend. And now yes. we, have, uh, we have here, uh, I suppose it's your friend too, because you put a big question here. Look. Oh my God. <laughs> Paul Piazzetti put uh, here uh, a question, a very interesting question that you talk during your lecture about the number of documents and the, the range of documents. If we have um, the same. Uh, document number for all ledgers or if the system create different uh, documents for different ledgers so uh, it's an interesting question because when i show it in the illustration that when you post explicitly to one ledger uh, i posted the same uh, uh, number range but uh, if you, when you are making your your posting without indicating any ledger, the system assigns the same number of documents to all to all ledgers. But if you uh, uh, post a document explicitly to to a one secondary one. ledger, uh, you have different numbers there and different configuration as well of the interval mm -hmm. number. You, you refer to that uh, during the, the, the when we are posting that uh, if you put in a single ledger, if you identify the group, uh, it posts only in this ledger. If, we, if sometimes we we need uh, you talk about that uh, that we need the um, the definition of um, I forgot the name that we put in the company. The, um, the the contable principle ah. so it is very important uh, every time to put the the principle in the in the company because sometimes the 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 system use the group ledger sometimes the system use the principle yes yes, yes. Uh, uh, the the last uh, the last question uh, uh, eduardo uh, it's normal to to see this type of uh, ledgers uh, proposed by uh, a, a big ad company that uh, needs to um, consolidate the information from different uh, countries and different currencies and it is normal to put uh, one ledger to uh, put all the reporting in uh, US dollar for example or in euros uh, yeah. Other 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 uh, applications that I I remember could be uh, some information to EFR uh, sixteen uh, some uh, some specific reporting that the company needs and we create sometimes a ledger to put the information in the in, in a different ledger with the different values. Uh, why or uh, which type of uh, implementation we can use this type of ledger with uh, different uh, periods? Uh, 
Yes, uh, as you said, Manuel, uh, there are several reasons that you have to 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 create different ledgers, uh, each one of them which are a specific purpose. Um, one one of them is that you 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 said is that to to aggregate different informations of companies that have different currencies, uh, and, and it, it is interesting because you can aggregate your your information using a common ledger uh, that follows the same accounting principle. Uh, I, another example is that there. There is also companies, for for example, in in the agribusiness industry, whose main product depends on the on the season, on the harvest. So for this company, it's interesting to to install the information for 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 reporting purposes uh, with a different periods. So so you have a, a un, uniform. Uh, reporting to the market as all this this industry can report on the same data. Uh, and another difference is is when you have an, an, a different accounting principle, as for example, IF, uh, IFRX 16. Correct, correct, correct. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Great, great lecture. I suppose it was be very useful so for everyone that uh, assist you now or after them in the YouTube. Thank you very much. Nice. And uh, next year we can uh, wait for you in presence here in Fortaleza. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Manuel. Bye bye for everyone. <laughs>